Immortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Where we left off, I think we just discovered Dog Day? Oh! What the hell is going on in here? Oh my god! Oh, straight off the bat! I didn't realise that they were going to be haunting us so quickly. So, we had to come all the way down here, didn't we? To kind of try and find Dog Day chained up in the basement? And then he gets a- whoops. A little bit possessed, so to speak. A little bit possessed. Can we open this? Please? I can't see anything! Alright, we're here in the pool. I don't think any of these doors opened. No, they did not. Let's go around, around, around. Actually, I'm going to restart the recording real quick. We'll get back to where we were, and then I'll restart the recording. This place is disturbing! Very disturbing in my thoughts. There's something in there. There's a light. Okay. Goldie Sinclair. Hey, my brother. Hello there, Goldie. How are we today? I'm just going to uh, start the YouTube recording so that the VOD boys don't miss out on too much. Sound good? Sounds good. Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. I'm not going to say anything. You, We're back to where we were. You're Poppy's angel. Yeah, I'm Poppy's angel. You have to save us. Good boy. Yo, g'day Dog Shark, how are we today? Really? Oh. Really? Commiserating. Wow, this is creepy. Creepy! Yeah, Creepy with the flare on his balls, huh? This is God, and this is what he does to heretics. That sucks, my dude. These little toys follow catnap to avoid that very thing. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototypes control. Doesn't sound so bad. The last... Boom, good I see 30. Welcome to the stream. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. I'm really quickly just taking thumbnails. You probably could fix this. And this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Leave me. Here they come. Please. I can't scare them away. Alright, we're off. I'm leaving. We're leaving. We go back the way we came, right? Oh no. Which way do we go? Oh, poos. Which way? Oh, oh he's there. I'm running. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Okay, where are we? Uh, we're in the play pine. Play pins. All right, let's uh, gap it through here. Can we go through here? No, we can. Oh my god! Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Jump scare literally in the first like two minutes. I'm currently modding for a Twitch stream, and so I'll have you in the background for now. That's absolutely fine. You do you, my dude. Why isn't chat updating? Oh my god, has it broken again? This is so obnoxious. Why can't YouTube fix their stuff? <sighs> oh! Don't worry. I know exactly how to fix it. I will fix it right now. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, yes, yeah, Sir Braziliero? Uh, yes, absolutely. What it, whatever you just said. Do I have to put in, like, a different chat bubble? What the hell is this? This isn't chat. What the hell is going on here? Okay, I'm going to try that same thing that I did last time, where I just kind of, like, input a random URL and then stick YouTube chat back in here, because that fixed it when I was doing that Hydraneer stream. Okay, put something random in there. Gmail's fine. I'll just whack that in there and dox myself. Okay, now we'll take the pop out of the chat. We'll copy the URL for that. By the way, this is how I got chat in the corner. It's by literally popping out chat and then sticking it in the corner and keyframing the color out. Okay, and restart. Hopefully it works now. Is it fixed? Yes, it's fixed. Okay, what the sigma? Okay, so we have actually just fixed chat. That is excellent. Whew. Okay, I don't know. Oh, do we have to sit through that every single time? No shot. No shot. We have to sit through that exposition every single time without a flashlight. And we're so far away. Wait, where, where do we even go? <laughs> we don't have to go like forward, do we? Although we did fall through the floor. I imagine that that is actually maybe somewhere we're supposed to be going. It does look like there is a path. Maybe we just went the wrong way. 
No! Leave me. Okay. Please, I will leave you. I will leave you. I'm off. Bye, Dog Day. You, you have yourself a fantastic day, Dog Day. You have a, you have a real dog kind of day. Bye, bye. Okay. Uh, where do we go? We have to go through here. There's no option. Uh, where to next? Up, maybe? No, there is no. Uh, oh my God. Okay. We have to go through that straight tunnel. Got it. Gotcha! Battle to the prototype. I will do no such thing. Damn! This game has no chill. Isn't he wonderful? I don't know who the prototype is. Maybe that's us. Maybe that's us. Maybe that is us. Maybe we are the prototype. Because I'm still skeptical that we are in fact human. But at the same time, we not only don't know who we are... But I keep seeing writing on all the walls saying, uh, catnappers, oh, it's your, uh, it's, it's the angel. It's, it's the angel sent from someone. And I'm pretty sure that we are supposed to be the, the guy that is, that has sent out the angel, right? No. Hello, Dog Day. Please Have a flare me. in your mouth. Please. Oh, Just that must go. hurt. Okay, bye-bye. Ah. I'm off. Ooh. Ooh. Bye-bye. Okay, let's run. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so there is a straight pipe this way, which we couldn't necessarily access at first, which is a bit of a damp fart. Okay, there's this way. That's a locked door. No! Whoa! Whoa, that's so close. I'm running. I'm running. Dog, they don't. Dog, they don't. Dog, they don't. Oh my god, why? There are little guys everywhere. Hello there, little elephant. No, I'm stuck. Oh! Poos. My sister screamed like hell from that jump scare. Yeah, I'm screaming like hell from the jump scares. <laughs> yeah, this is not the only one, my dude. Okay, I have a strange feeling that by this point in the game, it knows that I know that there's going to be a couple of like dud options to go down. A couple of little paths that aren't necessarily, you know, easy to go down. What the hell? Where am I? It's impossible to see in the dark as well, by the way. Am I supposed to be going that way? Or did I go too far? I went too far. If only I had my goddamn torch. Like, that is all I am asking for right now. Can we go around this? Not really. Okay, we're stuck. <laughs> no. Okay, we fixed it. Excellent. Good work, chat. We all fixed it. Oh, yeah, so Brasileiro. Still have no idea what that means. All right, dog day. No. Leave me. Much Please. like the German sausage, no. you do your worst. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do exactly what he says. It's probably actually really good advice. Bye bye, dog day. There he goes. And here we go. Let's get a good view of our surroundings first. All right, let's pop in here. And then we're gonna go through this little tunnel right here that was a little bit blocked off. And along we go. Oh no. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh, that is that's so cheaty. That's so cheaty. Okay, and around here. There's going to be a couple of little monsters kind of like popping out of the place, right? Popping out of the woodwork. Okay, I'm going this way. This looks like a dud. It's not a dud. Which way am I going? This way. Oh, my days. I can hear him thumping around right behind me too. Oh, he's close. Uh, this one. Let's go down this one. I take the slide. Oh, yuck. There's corpses and stuff everywhere. There's blood all over the place. I still don't know if we're being chased, by the way. Oh, it sounds like we're being chased. Okay, let's take this one. Hello, Dog Day! Oh my god! Cheesy. Alright, let's start way back at the beginning. We'll go all the way down that heinous, heinous curly staircase. And then we'll go across the pool for seemingly no reason. Why didn't they put a quick save, like, kind of in front of the area that you need to be? What does this say? There is no room for you here. Well, that's not very nice. A little bit exclusionary, don't you think? Gatekeeping much? Why are they gatekeeping? Out of bounds, boy. He was a little bit out of bounds, wasn't he? He was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. I'm actually... What the hell are you saying, Luca? I'm going to Google that right now. What the hell is this message right here? I don't, I don't speak Brazilio, unfortunately. 
Hi, I am Brazilian. Oh my god, yes, I, I figured that out based on the language that you keep uh, keep using. Dog Day was meant to come out to of there. Yeah, I feel like he was, wasn't he? No. Okay, I'll give him a little bit of a boop right on the nose. Dogs love that, by the way, when you shoot a flare gun into their face. They love it. They absolutely adore it. Okay. Bye-bye, Dog Day. I'm falling now. Okay, good. And let's go up here, because we know we have to go this way. We also know we have to go this way. It's a little less scary, i got to say, after you have died half a billion times. Got to be said, half a billion deaths probably kind of takes away a lot of the... A lot of the panic and fear of the game. Whoop! Gonna fire a couple of flares all over the place. I'm going... I think this is the path we took last time, right? This way, next. And we took the right pipe, didn't we? So let's go ahead and take that same pipe again. Whee! All the way down. Ah, the playtime. Yes, good. Okay, we don't want to be popped by Doggo's playtime, unfortunately. So we'll just go on through. We are supposed to be significantly smaller than we are, I think. Oh! Oh, screw those holes! Let's just go through here. Oh, we need a uh, purple hand. We need purple hand! Now! Oh, that was so close! Oh, I heard the thumps behind us so hard. I heard it so hard! Dog day on something? Yeah, crack cocaine. Is he in here? Is it over? Oh! Lore! Dog day says, fetch! Does he? Go, go! As far as you can! Is he warning me? Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. Really? The power of flare compels you. The power of flare compels you. Okay, which way do we go? Probably down here, right? I'm gonna go down here. Okay, we just hit the pipe real hard, much like I'm pretty sure Dog Day was doing that whole time as well. He was definitely hitting the pipe. Hey, what a bastard! Right? Not really, no. Are lost body parts? Yet to be determined. I'm really glad you're okay. I don't want to lose any more friends to this place. Hey, did you see the shrine? I did! Catnap made it for the prototype. Disturbing. See? Yes. If you thought that was terrifying, just wait until you see the real thing. I have. I have Anyways, seen... Oh, what the hell? really close to the end. I sent you a new key. Oh. You're going to the counselor's office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. Hate that. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Catnap lives for the hunt. Good luck. Talk soon. That's creepy. That is really, really creepy. I'm starting to think that Luca in chat is a bot. <laughs> He just says the same thing over and over and over again. Should I take a vote on, uh, vote on banning him? Do we think he's a bot? Do we want to maybe uh, take a vote on whether we're, whether or not we think the uh, guy speaking a different language over and over and over again is a, is a bot? Okay, can we go in here? That's my next question. No, nope, that's not where we go. So we got to go to the playhouse next, right? Which is... I think it, I thought it was where we just came from, right? It was just down here, this place, with joy written on it. Damn, our arms are so, so long. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Whoop. Here's a bot 100%. Okay, I'll ban him after the game. Uh, we can't go in there. 
That is the objective, right? Restore power in the counselor's office. Okay. Where is the counselor's office? Ah! That's what I thought the bank was. This right here. Damn, the counselor is on something else, isn't he? Good grief! Good grief! He's got a shrine. Hey, I got a new profile picture. Hey there, Tail. How are we today? I'm just about to crap myself, I think. Okay, we've got a few things in here. Shh. Saves this picture. And, uh, Is, uh, what catnap's saying in that? Oh, I hate that. I hate that angle. What is this thing? I'd sell. A couple of books over here. Wait in line. I saw that poster. Are you? Uh, Tail was here yesterday. He was here yesterday for a bit of the stream. Wait in line. I don't really want to. A counselor will see you as soon as they are available. Practice patience. I feel like the counselor might either be catnap or he is potentially just some psycho, right? Who's murdering the children for for the company. Or the Empire! Your tools won't protect you. That's good. I wasn't planning on bringing them out anyway. Okay, can't open that. Let's put our gas mask on. Okay, can't open that either. Where are we supposed to be going then? There is a battery slot right here. Maybe we're supposed to take a battery out of something. Strange. We can actually grab that. I don't think we grab it out of here. Is there anything else that we can maybe grab onto? Nothing? Just a, just a battery hole? Okay, we can't go through the window in here, it seems. Can I really not go through here? Okay, that casts no light. That's really upsetting. I never played Poppy Playtime. All I know is that there's Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Long Legs, Kissy Missy, and there's, uh, from a toy factory. Yeah, uh, they were stuffing children into, into dolls. I thought that there were like kind of eight core characters in Chapter 3 that were kind of like the victims, but looking at Dog Day, it actually seems like there's probably half a billion. Like the amount of times we've been scared by this game. Half a billion. I think there's half a billion victims. Okay, so we need a battery of some sort from somewhere, don't we? Where the hell are we going to find a battery of some sort? Okay, that does nothing. This place is really big, by the way. Did anyone see how far the flare went? Crazy. Does it go through? No, it does not. The ceiling is actually a, a clippable item. I thought there'd be a battery in here, right? I thought there would be a battery in here. Because the game is fairly good at enclosing everything into its own little ecosystem. But it seems like in this instance, maybe that's actually not the case. What the hell is up here? Oh, can we go up there? Oh, hello! That's convenient, but also really weird at the same time. Okay, hello! We've got a thirsty mummy long legs right here. Look how thirsty she is. Damn! Cool off! Cool off, lady! This is a, a kid-friendly stream. Not made for kids, but it's kid-friendly. Okay, we've got a playtime roller decks right there. Those are really outdated. Oh! Sweet! Oh, there's the TV. What does that say? Emergency alert system. Effect of the 8th of the 8th, 1995 at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Playtime company issues a workforce danger alert. Okay, we've got a date. We've got to get a date where all of this happened. The 8th of the 8th, 1995. The message is for all Playtime Company employees. At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. Obviously. If no exit path is available, Seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact. So this is obviously catnap got loose, right? Open the doors nigh. now. The hour of joy has arrived. Uh... Yeah, that's talking about catnap. Um, I've actually got this this theory that catnap was kind of like abducting 
people, or at least the drugs were purpose built to abduct children from their homes so that they had a, a steady supply of orphans. Or the drugs kind of send the kids into a violent rage. Okay, so that still won't open. That is plugged into something else. Is there something else maybe down here that we can take? A key of some sort? Maybe? What about the computer? Nope, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Got a fan right here. I'm getting a bunch of those recently. It's probably because of all the streaming. Let's uh, probably leave this area, right? So the theory kind of is backed up by everybody avoiding catnap by kind of burying themselves in blankets because catnap wouldn't abduct a child that's like already asleep, I think. I think it's it, the drugs do something. I thought it was like scopolamine of some sort, which kind of puts you in a zombie-like haze. And every time uh, somebody tells you to do something, you do it, which is inherently the entire utility of scopolamine. That's a very, very heinous drug, also called the Devil's Breath. I wonder what chapter four will be like. Hopefully just as terrifying, if not more terrifying. This chapter has slapped so far. Okay, I'm not really seeing, can we take this? Oh, yes, we can, but we have to take it from out here, I think. Yoink! Okay, we're locked in here now. That is bad. That's very bad. Let's jam that in there and see what's down this heinous hallway. Finger guns. I got finger guns. All right, nothing in there necessarily. Probably for the best. Can we open this? Oh, oh my God! Oh, I've been playing once human in my spare time and F is the interact key. F is also in this game the key that you use to put the gas mask on. No. It will not open. There's not really anything in there that we care about. All right. Excellent. Hate that, whatever that is. Let's buy this here, see what's in there. Can we open this? There is a fuse breaker in there. We probably ideally would want to turn them on, but you know, we can wait. There's a lot of blood on the ground right there. Good grief. Not really anything up here. Somebody barricaded themselves in. That kind of looks like a, the back of a panel of walls that didn't have any jib put over them. Bunch of scratches over here. That's fine. Do we look in here? Water cooler. That's about it. There's another thirsty mommy over here. I hate that I just said that. We probably have to go and get the... Ugh. That's foreboding. Probably have to go and get the battery from the other room, right? To jam it into that socket right there. I think so. I think that's exactly what we have to do. Actually, it's going to be damn near impossible to get that battery out before the door closes. So maybe that's not the option at all. There's got to be another one, right? There's got to be another battery of some sort. Uh, I think I just heard some kind of furniture moving. Ah, head of school, Maria Ashikin. Let's go in here. Fire a flare so we can see. Okay, good. I thought something was hiding over in this area. Those handprints. Could be a, a, a little bit sus. Oh, that's more sus. That's way more sus. Okay, nothing there. There's the whole world at our fingertips just over there as well. What the hell? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just scared myself with the chair and the flare. The old flare chair combo. What's up with the music? Where am I hearing that from? It must be coming from next door or something. Oh, turn and go home. Well, we've already doubled down on doing what we're doing now. I don't think we will. Oh, rabbit. Just fell over. What the hell is that sound? I hate that. Okay, so we can't open this and apparently we can't go in this hole either, even though it's really obvious that this is like a progression point. Hello, game. Is that a battery? That is in fact a battery. I have taken it. Don't tell Liam Neeson. I've taken it. Okay, we're gonna go through. Run. Dun, 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 dun. Hello? The Hour of Joy. Okay, I feel like the Hour of Joy is kind of where Catnap got free and then started murdering all of his captors. Catnap could also potentially be the engineer who kept on getting promoted over and over again. All right, what's in here? The head of Toy Store, Eduardo Gala. Oh, we're getting names. We're actually getting names. Good, 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 good. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's one of the toys, I think. Yep. Okay, that makes a very, very good chandelier. Boogie Bot, that's a new one. Huh, funny. 
Hey, you get jump scared by a gas mask on a chair? Dang, you scared to get? You play the game and you tell me this isn't terrifying. There's some money here. Can't take it. Seriously? What kind of game is this? What a role-playing game doesn't allow you to take fat stacks of cash when you loot? Weak. Ugh. Is that supposed to be a reference to Undertale? If it is, I got it. If not, I didn't get it. Help! Nerd. What's in here? A couple of handprints just floating around the place. That's weird. Probably have to grab something up here. Okay. Into the vents we go! Hate that. Hate all of this. Let's go this way first. Let's go this way first. I think that this is probably going to be the way that we go first and instead. Nope, nothing. I'm basically just using this flare gun to see at this point. Now, I did see that somebody can, like, uh, swap off their other hand. I don't know how to kind of, like, remove the blue hand from this hand. Boing! Seriously? Seriously? Hey there, Tail. Hi, hi there, Avocado. How are we today? That's uh, edits, right? Your edits? Boop! Okay, we'll do a sprint jump across. And I'm probably going to get the old flare gun back out now. Because we need it. We probably need it. Damn, this place big. I still absolutely adore the underground cavern setting. That is so cool. Uh, can't use that yet, I don't think. That doesn't look powered either, so maybe we have to go downstairs and power everything up, maybe? Maybe we get up that ladder? No, we can't use ladders. What is this? Oh! Do we maybe... No. We don't do anything with this. I don't think we're supposed to be powering this either with that. So maybe we go down, and we'll just hope for the best down here. Sup, Avocado from Mexico? I don't know why my profile picture isn't showing up on your screen. Uh, that would be highly likely to be how I actually got chat to get on the screen in the first place, which is I chroma keyed out the background of the YouTube chat colors. There's no better way of doing it. There's no, like, support. There's no support for YouTube chat on any of these OBS-based uh, st uh, streaming platforms. Which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so it seems as though that's not the answer at all. Maybe the answer is actually above. Right up here. Yep, I think it is. I think we're supposed to jump this. Maybe. Maybe we're just supposed to get the green hand out. Nothing. Nothing. No. Huh. I have no idea what we would fire this at. Don't do it at the hand. Can't see at this angle. Let's go all the way down. We'll see if we can't, like, go around here. Because maybe there is something that we can fire this load at from down south. Anything up here? Not really, is there? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just a little bit blind. Aaron, hey, Jensen. Hey there, Aaron. How are we today? Are we doing good? I'm doing good. I've had a great day. Aside from the fact that I woke up, had a, had a cold shower, and uh, coffee got cold as well as soon as I uh, got out of the shower. Oh, do we fire it through this? Oh, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. And we'll zip ourselves up here, then we'll drop down a little bit. Let's curl around this bad boy to power it. Excellent. Now we are going to need to change our first hand, which I don't know how to do. Okay, let's see if we can't, like... Yeah, change the other hand. Easy. Uh, fire left hand, fire right hand, change hands, one, two, three. Yes, okay. It does nothing. It does nothing. Three, two, one. Okay. I can't actually change the blue hand. Oh. We can actually get that one lit up anyway, so let's go ahead and light up with the blue hand. We'll grab with this green hand. We'll lift ourselves up with the green hand, and we'll blind ourselves like a uh, an incompetent Jedi would blind themselves. Well, that's supposed to be lit. Strange. Oh, we didn't go around, apparently. I was pretty sure I went around. What the hell, game? Stop that! Oh, no, we don't do anything here, do we? Do, do we? I don't think so. Oh, it's 
Just call me Juju Erin is my nickname. Oh, right. Hello there, Juju. I'm going to jump and maybe curl. Jump curl. That seems to be functioning a little bit, but why isn't this going up? Strange. We can now change our hand. Let's use the purple hand. Because we're going to need to, I think. Uh, we'll sprint. We'll slap. And we made it. Oh my days. I don't understand how we made it, but we did. Go ahead and curl around here as well. Righty-ho. And now I think we have to kind of like land a, a shot on the other Watsamadoodle. Boop. Where is it? I want to launch myself up here. Where is it? It was like up top, wasn't it? On the other side of the Watsama Jingle Jangle. Okay, let's bring ourselves up here. I've been redecorating my room. I hope it looks great. Hope it looks absolutely fantastic. What the hell was that? What just fell down there? What? Oh, I see. It's an elevator. Okay, let's use it. Almost with the uh, the jump right there, but I think we are fine. Uh, this is embarrassing. I don't know how to go up on this. Oh, yes, I do. We just kind of go through. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, we're at the office now. Excellent. Excellent. I, I can't believe that kids actually had to go down there to kind of access the, the psychiatrist's office. Psychiatrist, right? No, counselor. A little bit different. A little bit different. Okay, nothing down there. Nothing over here. Okay, let's look for secrets. I hear flies. I hear flies. Hello? I also heard a door open. That is locked. What's through there? Nothing. Okay, for the best. There is a Huggy Wuggy right here. Boop. Slap him in the face for fun. Really seeing a huge amount of lore in this area. Okay, good. Hit and play here, Stella Graber. So I imagine we're going to find our own office by the end of this chapter, which may give us a little bit of lore. Okay, there's another television here. It's a pink one. So we're after a pink video cassette, which should be around here somewhere. Go ahead and light this place up. That did absolutely nothing. That's a little bit better. Oh, there it is. It's right on the desk right over here. Excellent. King of Spiders, hello there. I hope your surgery has gone well and you are recovering steadfast. Godspeed, my dude. Godspeed. I hope I don't make you laugh. I hope there's no, like, gut-busting humor in this episode, but it's Poppy Playtime, so it might not be. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hartman. Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was... Well, <laughs> it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a <laughs> truly magical place. <laughs> I felt right at home from the second I entered. You opened that door the first time and you just know. You're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. <sighs> Amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh... What? Jeremy's dead! Well, it appears there's been some complications. He fell into the grinder! Complications? What kind of complications? He's dead! I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graver, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? Give her a chance to answer. I'm sorry. I was expecting a jump scare at the end of that. Is that my dad? I hope not. I don't really like horror games, so I might not be here. Okay. Uh, might not be playing horror games for this entire playthrough. I'm going to go to Monster Hunter right after I have finished this here chapter. Oops, that's a fire hazard, and also looks heinous. Let's get away from that. Still, I really do hope you recover fast. Can we go in here yet? No, maybe there was a key in this office. So Stella Graber very, very clearly was not great at her job, but she was not kept in the loop. She was loopless. 
Okay, we've got a Mommy Long Legs, we got Dog Day, Huggy Wuggy, this thing, and a couple of flowers. Also, the chair is not standing up, which is a little bit irresponsible. Can we break this window? No. Can't break that either. Just light a fire on this couch over here real quick. I figured there would be something that would allow us maybe to progress, but it seems as though that is not the case at all. Maybe there's another office. Maybe we have to go and find another office. Okay, that definitely won't open. We definitely need a key of some sort. Why do I hear flies everywhere? Oh, I see. The flies are just hovering over this bin of newspapers. Why? Though, why are they hovering over the newspapers? It's impossible to tell. Oh, we can see really well if we just fire it onto the roof. Over here, see if there's anything good. Any goodies over here to maybe steal and ransack. But it doesn't really look like it, does it? No, 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 no. What's up here? This is another desk. So what, we go back? There's not really anywhere else we can go. Hate that. <laughs> I hate how the shadow's cast in this game. Anything up here? Maybe? No? Nothing? Nothing on this desk either. I think that's a pencil. We took it, we could probably John Wick our way out of here, but unfortunately it might not really be terribly effective if we aren't John Wick ourselves. We may have to actually play as some kind of other nameless protagonist. There's got to be a key in here, right? There's got to be a key for that other office. Can we just ransack her drawers? Man, this is like a Dr. Seuss kind of office, isn't it? Boop. What are we looking at? That is a rusty aluminium can. I didn't even realize that aluminium can rust. I thought that was exclusively unique to iron. You know, given that rust is specifically iron oxide, but... What do I know? I'm just a stupid YouTuber. I'm, I'm just let's playing a video game. I'm not a chemist. What do I know? Yep, not seeing any keys. A lot of candy on the desk over here. No key on top of this either. We got any ideas? In chat, we got any ideas on how to progress here? I can take Candy Cat. Nothing around here. Maybe there's something in one of these toy boxes. Nope, just a dismembered mummy long legs. This boogie bot has been absolutely toasted too. Bunzo the bunny is headless. That sucks. Sucks for Bunzo the bunny. Maybe we just take this chair. Oh, we can take the chair. That's funny. But what do we do with it? Go to the desk and look up. Oh! Ah, uh, oh, key. That's not what I expected when I saw that this was a vent, but I'll take it. Hello? Catnip? Thank you, Dog Shark. Thank you so much. Hello? I'm coming in. Catnip? All right, here's that unicorn. So Piggy said that flayed unicorn is a really delicious meal. Corn. Hi, Crafty can you Corn. Help me with my painting? Of course I can. Give me the blue, please. The blue? Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? More red, please. Out? But we can't be out. I got four more, actually. You are hiding more red from me. I know you are. I know where this is going. Give it here. Okay. Antisocial personality disorder much? What's back here? Vacuum! Oh my god. The theories are all confirmed. Vacuum cleaner. Okay, so we've got an elevator. We've got a door that we can open. <sighs> hate that. Actually, I actually hate that. Let's take a look in here. There's a brawn. And we've got a rusty lamp. That's fine. Sorry, fan. It's not a lamp. Also a chair here that we could probably actually take with us. We want a comfortable place to sit. Not really a lot else in here. Alright. What else are we looking at? What's in here? Who's in here? Nothing. Help! No. I will do no such thing. Can we open this? Oh, we can't even see in there. It's been barricaded entirely. Hi again. Hello there, Hanji Sung lover. I'm not sure I recognize that name. Did you change recently? Okay, we're looking at some help. Let's go up here. Now that's iron oxide, if I ever saw it. Right. Coming up. Let's go this way. I almost fell down. There's also this way that we could potentially go. Never mind. Wait, is this is where we came in, isn't it? 
Or is this kind of like a recycled asset? Might be a recycled asset. Hello? Nothing. Nothing. Good. I do like that there was nothing in there. I love that there was nothing in there. Yes, it was Erin like five minutes ago. All right. Hello there, Juju. Nope, nothing in here. Are you Spider-Man? Who, me? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of Spider-Man. I've got the dexterity of Spider-Man. I, if somebody drops a beer, I can catch the cup and the beer in one swift movement, but... Other than that, I don't really have any, like, what you would call superpowers. Other than telekinesis. Oh! It's foggy! That was close. Why is my heart beating so fast? Those are the drugs. Gotcha. Uh, we're kind of shut in here, apparently. That's not good. There's a puzzle over there. It's not good either. I don't know what we're doing. Let's fire a flare just so we can see around us. This kind of looks like an arts and crafts room, doesn't it? Okay, can't open that, which is fine. We don't necessarily want to open that. What is this? Stay energized. Why do I hear so many creepy little sounds? Oh, that's a lot of blood on the floor in here. Or drugs. Up to tell. Oh no. Kit of gas production. Nate Carpenter. This might be catnap. You don't have any demon powers? Uh, 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 not, not, not where I am currently. Not, not here. Not here. Kind of, I'm kind of outside of my zone. Kind of outside of my zone at the moment. Oh, keep locked. What is this? It's power. Uh, righty ho then. The peripheral vision in this area is absolute ass. Gotta be said. So, head of Playhouse. Who is this? Greg Fecto. Fecto. Greg, Greg Fecto, I think. Is that how we say that? Yeah, Greg Fecto. Okay, I think Greg is su suspended from the ceiling. Anything else in here? There's another Watsma Dingle that we have to power, it seems. What else are we looking at? Is this kind of like a, one of those triple locks that nukes are... Nukes are defended with? Okay, we've got the head of Home Sweet Home, Lisa Bot Botian. The very unusual names. I don't think they would realistically turn up anywhere. Oh my god! Drugs are still here. Okay, let's put that mask back on because we kind of need it at this point. Nothing on her desk we can ransack. A little bit disappointed, honestly, that they got rid of the collectibles. And there we go. We've got another one of those power conduits right there. So we need power conduits. I imagine this is going to be locked until we power all three of those rooms. There is a battery slot right there. What else are we looking at? A couple of toys on the roof. I feel like this is just pumping drugs. This whole place is just pumping drugs. Nothing really in here that we could ransack necessarily. Whew. Tell changed the PFP and Aaron changed his username. Everyone is changing so fast a tear falls from the face. My PFP is now Bob the Skeleton. Bob the Skeleton? You mean Bob's? Okay, as, as long as it's not Bob's and Virgine, we are going to be absolutely fine. Oh, there's a battery over there. I be Wait, didn't we? Didn't we take that battery from in here? I'm pretty sure we're looking at the entrance way at this point. All right, there it is. I see it. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Oh, I was tripping on chairs. Weird. The hell is that sound? I think I hear catnap. Oh no. I actually think I hear catnap. All right, that's not powered still. Why did we put the... Why did we put the battery in here? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I see, okay, fine. So we're probably supposed to kind of like juggle, right? We're supposed to juggle all of these power conduits. There's gotta be another one on the wall somewhere else. Maybe it's through here. Maybe not. Kind of hard to tell at this current point. Go ahead and fire that there so we can see on the wall. The Hour of Joy! Yes! Joy everywhere. I can't wait for the joy. Okay, that is still cl These chairs! What the hell? They are spinning me around like crazy. So that is nothing. Can we kind of like take from this? Oh, we can! Okay. We'll put that one there. Take this one and we'll put another one there and we'll take this one and we'll put the other one there did that do it 
Do I... Or did one kind of run out? Okay, let's go ahead and try that again. One from... One from... Oh, the door's open. Excellent. Are the drugs gone? Nope. No, they are not. Ooh. Sans is Bob's. Hey, Jensen, how does your audio sound so good compared to mine? Uh, well, I've, I've got this thing right here called a microphone, and um, I'm seeing right here that your issue at the moment is that you don't have a microphone on my live stream. I think that's that's probably your, your main issue, honestly, when it comes to sound quality on this live stream. So uh, maybe, maybe come over to where I live and uh, perhaps, I don't know, uh, plug a microphone in. Why, does, why did they use the Lethal Company landmine sound right there? Uh, I don't know what your mic sounds like, but I've got a lot of filters on this microphone. There's also a Rode, and Rode is kind of famous for their quality. We don't want this on. I think the game's trying to trick us, aren't they? Oh, I see. All right, so we have to hit that lever to... We can also hit this one. I don't know where this one's supposed to be going. Way over there. I think we have done this one once. Do we just hit this lever again? Whoops. And whoop! Up we go. Here we go! We're going up! Hello, catnap? Uh... Oh, this is embarrassing. Ah, there's another conduit way over there. I'm blind. I can't see. I am literally blind. <sighs> okay! Let's hit this lever again. We'll go down. I think we have to maybe... Trigger this last. I think that we have to use our hands to do something specific. Potentially. All right, that is... Oh, my God. There's so many things around here that we have to power. Good gravy! All right, there's another conduit just up here that we are latching onto. Maybe we do have to use our hands. Potentially. I'm thinking maybe for that one up there, we're just supposed to use this little doohickey. So let's go ahead and turn this so it's facing that. Good, I love that. And this one should be facing the right way already. Excellent. Let's go ahead and fire that. Boop. And should go up and hit that one. Excellent. So something is currently powered. Oh, excellent. We've got purple hands. Lethal Company was second. Was it? I thought the Lethal Company uh, came out before Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Whoops. It may just be a free asset or something on the Unreal Marketplace. Ah! This is actually really, really tricky to do. Oh, oh we're getting bounced around like crazy. Boop. And good. We made it to the top. So we need two batteries up here. Is that a battery? Looks like a battery to me. Let's go ahead and break that. Or not. Uh. Okay. Oh, no, I know exactly what to do with this. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. We'll go all the way down here, and we got to drag it off, right? Because it's made of glass, it'll smash. Whoa! We could have just damaged the battery like that. We are so lucky we didn't. We should have probably damaged the battery, though, to be quite fair. Boom, 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 boom. I'm climbing in this room. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very clutch. Very clutch indeed. So this one here is kind of blocked by the jump pads, but I think if we power this one... We could probably unpower these jump pads. They'll turn sideways and maybe we could kind of angle this one to go around a little bit. I think that might be the way. I No. No, 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 no. We don't want to do this yet. So we want to go up there and I think we actually want to change it from up top because there is also the battery that we can kind of manipulate as well. Plus I only have... I'll check that off my list about how to be a good YouTuber. There are so many uh, tutorials about how to get really, really good, like, audio quality. What you want is a really, really good kind of compressor, first off. You want to learn all of the audio engineering that re is basically required reading to be a YouTuber. And you want to learn things like um, equalizers. You want to learn compressors. You want to learn a bunch of other stuff. There's, like, six um, to, to kind of get the golden sound that you'd really want out of a, a moderate to decent microphone. Okay, now that we're up here, we can unhook this bad boy. Harris Heller has really, really good guides on how to get excellent quality in your microphone. Here's a good one. Here's a good one to follow. All right, so I did think that maybe we could turn this one to kind of face that way, right? 
and then we can hook this up again. We'll give this a good slapping right here. And bada bing, bada boom, I think. Did that do anything? I mean, it's still powered. Hello? Oh, we did it! Nice! I like! So now we have to come down here. Wait, why is... All of this is powered. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe... No, we don't have to power the jump pads. That's just completely unnecessary. Did you hear about 21 on Roblox? No, I have never heard about 21 on Roblox. I didn't realize there were people that old on Roblox. <laughs> I say, I play Roblox myself. So this is powered. Good. All of this is powered. Can we kind of like steal juice? Maybe? Okay, that's still good. All of these appear to be somewhat powered. We still can't steal juice, I don't think. I don't think there's actually a, a conduit that we can steal power from, unfortunately. Unless we kind of use our green hand, maybe? Oop. Nope. Nope. Doesn't seem to do anything. So we're going to need another battery of some sort. Don't know where we're going to find one. There's not one up here. Might be one downstairs. Maybe a battery down below. That we can kind of like pull up on the elevator. Because it seems like that's supposed to be what we're doing next. Wonder if we're going to take damage. Nope. I glitch jumped my way down. Ah, there is also a power conduit here. Huh? What happened? Hello, game? I don't know what just happened. What is that sound? Is that this? That has a horrible sound to it. Good grief. It's a game where you get the cards to 21, but only one deck and there are multiple rounds. What, Blackjack? That just sounds like Blackjack. Which I crush at. I'm really good at Blackjack. Probably the card game that I always thrive at. It's also got the highest odds of success if you really know how to play it and you have decent kind of like gambling thresholds on it. Like if you get 15 in Blackjack, chances are the house is going to get more than you, so... It's usually best just to go once more to get yourself just over that 15 point threshold. Because if you get another like face card and you've already got an ace, that just puts that ace at one. Then you've got 16, which is kind of like the point at which you would likely just get more and the dealer will go bust. Okay, I think that maybe let's go ahead, disable this, and we will turn this around so that we can kind of get ourselves up onto this platform up here. I still feel like there's supposed to be a battery somewhere, and I have no idea where it would be, necessarily. So this is all powered. Was there a... Oh, maybe there was a uh, battery slot downstairs. Maybe. I'm going to check. Let's check. Anything down here? Absolutely not. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. We don't want to go in there. There's too many drugs. There is also a... Oh, I see. Okay, so we do need the battery to get into whatever this is right here. Gotcha. So let's go up top, and then we will get that battery, we'll jam it downstairs, and then hope for the best, I suppose. Good! Hey, when you beat Undertale and know the story, you should play Undertale Yellow. I will! It's It's been put in the game requests already. I will be playing Undertale Yellow at some point. Okay, now that we got this, let's unhook this. Excellent. Come downstairs and we'll jam it into the slot over here. All right, the battery's all wet. That's probably good for it. Ah, perfect. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what we're supposed to do. Go ahead, stick it on that. We will go up this elevator, and then we will try our best to throw it off the ledge. Boop. Come on. Come on, battery. Come on. We're going, we're going walkies. Oops. Hey, that's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> and we didn't have to go down. So, now that we've done that, what is in here, by the way? Whoop. Nothing. It was just a storeroom. Gotcha. Also, I don't mean to brag, by the way, uh, going back to the kind of like audio, audio quality thing, but I also have a great voice. I've always had a great voice, so um, don't, don't get too confused about why your audio isn't so amazing. 
I'm very good at voice acting and stuff like that, and uh, I do that here where I am. Probably want to take this battery too. Let's go and light up everything up top. Boop. And we ascend! Behold! Ascension. Yank! And we'll yonk this one as well. Yonk! And we'll stick it in there. Boop. Boop. Great. Uh, now we only have to turn this kind of like a here's, a here's breath to the side. And then we use this and everything's already set up. So it's going to power that. And here we go. Great. The gate's open. Nice. Hey, Jensen, what video do you think I should make next on my channel? The hell is that sound? Is that jazz? That is jazz. Uh, it is kind of, it's really, really hard to give other people inspiration, but when you think of a video, definitely, it's definitely worth making, as opposed to not making it. Okay, I'm going to put the gas mask on, because I feel like we're getting into drugs territory here. I got my, my flashlight out as well. Alright, can't see anything. Right, what's down there? Literally nothing. Okay, I'm kind of peeking out of one eye, which is how I go to the bathroom in the dark. What's down here? Puzzles? Drugs? Drugs! Gotcha! What's in here? What's in here? Oh, I think this is that area that we saw before. They're kind of like walls? Never mind. Those walls definitely aren't finished. I think we're kind of like in the subterranean basement or something like that. Run! Yeah, well, last time you said that I didn't actually have to, so I won't be doing that. Thank you very much. I also don't think that's a message for me. I'm taking this battery! Anything else in here that would pique my interest? No, 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 no. Oh my god! I have no idea what I've just done. Oh no. Uh. Oh god. Oh no, I've done that very- In the corner over there. Why did steam stop? The stream is lagging for me. This? Okay, let me see if I can't pause this and fix that. Super close to 1k? Yeah, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Although, if I just got 100 subs, that'd be uh, pretty awesome too. So, we're back. We're back in the game. Oh my days, I literally cannot believe what I just saw. Oh, that was awful. So, we're here. We gotta put on this mask. Uh, we gotta go not in here, but in here. And we gotta grab ourselves some kind of battery, don't we? No, it was this way. We grab the battery. And then, of course, Catnap is standing in the doorway. Actually, can we just grab this from out here? No, I don't think we can. I don't think so. Well, good luck at getting 1k. Uh, thank you so much. I must go get sleep. You have a great night. Hello, Catnap. No wonder that scared the ever-loving hell out of me. Okay, I'm back, by the way. I'm back. I hope the recording didn't corrupt. I'm going to find out later, I think. What the hell? It is Poppy Blaze I'm doing this. What is going on here? I think Pop Poppy Playtime is actually not interacting with Streamlabs OBS very well. Because it seems like this only happens when this cutscene plays. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll get through this cutscene, and then I'm pretty sure that the game will just fix itself, right? It's got to be this. It's got to be exactly what we're seeing here. That's the issue. I basically, I've got the gist of it, though. Essentially, what we're looking at is kind of like the exposition that we already know about. 
The children were being kept in here as orphans. They're being kind of like systematically murdered and they're being stuffed into the animatronic doll. Uh, not animatronic dolls, the regular dolls. That's essentially it. So I'll get past this cutscene. Then I'll see whether or not something else is going on. Because this is just weird. This is revolting performance, by the way, from Puppy Playtime. Okay, there's no one kind of back there. That is the school. It's fine. The choppiness will end. I'm pretty sure the choppiness will end after this cutscene. We just gotta kinda like grin and bear it for a bit. Do you see why we have to end this? Well, I haven't really seen a lot other than bloodstains on the ground and a lot of toys. There's no body parts though. That's the weird part. There's no body parts. It's real? Yeah, I've got a pretty good idea. Okay. That's got to be the counselor, right? There's got to be the counselor in there. Yep, there's good old Huggy Wuggy. How you doing, buddy? No, you don't. No idea what that means. Yep, Huggy Wuggy's loose. I don't know if we did this, or what the hell is that? Creepy. We've seen that hand somewhere before. Oh, would you look at that? The stream is fine. Okay, so it's the performance of that game that absolutely just crapped on us. Okay, I'll do just that. I hope Billy Bus comes out soon. Who in God's name is that? All right, so we're probably in a place now to run, aren't we? As the wall keeps indicating we should be doing. Okay, can't leave. Wait, what if we grab that battery and try and jam it in there? What happens? Oh, uh, we can't. We can't grab the battery. All right, let's leave this place. This place is cursed. This place is so cursed. It just frame dropped so hard just then. Okay, what are we looking at? We are now outdoors. The lights are all off and stuff. We've got a phone ringing. I hope we can just answer it. Something's gone wrong. Grab the cord from the counselor's office and plug it in underneath the statue. We need to reach 100%. Good luck. Okay, I'll do that. From underneath the counselor's office, or from the counselor's office. Can't really see a hell of a lot, can I? No, we definitely can't see anything, can we? Yucky, yucky. Okay, still not seeing anything. It's got to be over here, right? That's got to be it. Okay, we'll grab this. We've got to go into this little Watsma dingle over here. Down here? Yes! And we've got to plug this bad boy in to this socket. One of these sockets right here. Toy store, home sweet home, school, no. Dome, counselor's office. It looks like we're a tiny bit short. I'm sending one last key. Poppy okay. used it when you met up with her earlier to activate the skylights. Great! Okay, I'll do that. Let me also just make sure that the stream is functioning as I want it to, because good grief. There were so many things that could have just gone wrong right then. That actually just went wrong. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually up and alive. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Really? Is that still going on the same? It should be fine now. Are you taking the piss? Oh my god, it just crashed the stream again! I can't believe it! This game! This game! Oh my god! That was terrible! I can't I literally cannot believe that all of this has gone so wrong.
Okay, I should be back. I know what the issue was. I know exactly what the issue was. I just rejoined the stream. Hey there, Tail. Uh, should be back. I should be back. I should be back, uh, back up and live. If anybody can confirm whether or not they're receiving my stream, I will be in your debt. Literally. Well, maybe not literally, but, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh. Oh, that was so awful. That was so, so awful. I'm going to go ahead and grab chat again in case it broke. Okay, it looks like it's fine. Just got to refresh chat. Oh, oh, God, I hate this so much. <laughs> okay, I should be live. I, sh I should be live. I should be fine. I know what the issue was. The game just choked up 100% of my graphics card and 100% of my GPU uh, because it wanted to. It didn't need to, but it wanted to. So it was the game. The game absolutely just roasted the streams, and I thought it was the streaming software, but it was not. It was actually the game itself. Yuck. I have no idea how the developers would get away with such a thing. Very gross. wonder if anybody else is having these issues. Probably not, to be quite honest. All right. I know there's like a billion streams open at once. Uh, let's just carry on my way with Sun and we'll hope that everything is kind of like functioning as intended. Okay. I'm going to grab the key. Now we need to route the power from the Sky Dome. I'm happy to do so. Okay. No catnap up there. Where is the Sky Dome? It's got to be on this map, right? Go ahead and fire a flare up on that light right there. Or not. What? Oh, it's not a clippable object. Good to know. Home sweet home, toy store, counselor's office, playhouse, school. Uh, there is no sky dome. What is the objective here? Route power from the sky dome. But there is no sky dome. We just took a key. Maybe the objective is actually down here. And we're just a little bit too simple to have realized. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's anything down here that we could necessarily use. Right, all right, let's go to the Sky Dome and we'll see if we can't... What, how do... Oh, I see. Do we have to, like, take the tram back up or... Whoops, I'm stuck on a Bront. That's fine. I'm up here. Hearing a bunch of, like, staticky sounds. I don't think that we can actually go back up. Necessarily. There is a light over there. Maybe we follow that. I think that has something to do with it, right? Okay. Good God. I didn't realize that so many things could go wrong in one simple instance. I thought that maybe that this game would have a little bit better performance than to literally cripple itself as soon as it has to uh, kind of play a cutscene. Uh, there's a poppy on there. Strange. All right, we've got a plug. I'm coming down. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And we should be good to go. Should being the operative word. I hope we don't have to find another one of those cutscenes. That was heinous. Very yucky. Very, very yucky. Okay, let's bring it all the way down here. Don't know what we're going to plug it into, though. One of these, maybe? School? Home? Dome? Right there? Hey, nice. Oh. It's the door by the cable car you arrived on. Good luck. Righty ho, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Okay, uh, by the cable car we arrived on. Is that up there? It's got to be, right? What is up there? I think it's up here. I think this is the way. God damn it, there's so many things in the way to get stuck on. Okay, so I think up here is kind of where we arrived. But I could be completely wrong. Whoops, I've fallen down a shaft because I can't see anything. It is so dark here. It is so, so dark. Am I stuck? Hard to tell. Really, really hard to tell. 
I'm gonna jump over this. That is a pool. Where are we supposed to be bringing this bad boy? Here's a blue power cell in the gas production zone. Gas production zone. Right. That's got to be up here, right? Because it's illuminated. Okay, we'll take these stairs right here. Nope, it's only illuminated so we could get the plug out of there. Hey, I just rejoined the stream. Welcome back. Uh, I know exactly what went wrong. The game itself just took up 100% of both my CPU and my GPU so we could play that cutscene. Why they didn't just put it in a 3D spec, like, it, it have kind of like walls all around the player with just a bunch of pictures showing? Because that's all we saw. I have no idea. It actually just kind of like screwed us by creating a gigantic 3D environment. Oh, is this where we're supposed to stick it? Nope. Dang, bro, I know it's rough, isn't it? I thought it was my streaming software, so I restarted my computer a couple of times. It was not my streaming software whatsoever. It was the game. The game has not been play tested. I suppose that's kind of the consequence of small, small indie studios, isn't it? All right, can we go in here? Nope. I don't know where we came in. I know there's a bunch of lights shining over here. What is this? Is this where we're supposed to be going? Yes, okay. Oh, right, yeah, so this was the beginning area that we came into at the at the start of the game. I almost didn't remember this, specifically because I haven't played this game in a month. But I think we should be here now, right? We should be at the gas production zone. Watch your step! Always remain aware of your surroundings. Falls are lethal. Yes, I remember this place. Here we are, we are here. Man, this place is way more banged up than I remember. Okay, uh, where do we jam this? Probably in here, right? What's that sound? All I hear is... Run! Oh, no, oh my god! Hello! I'm running! Where do we run to? Also, I have no gas mask. Holy hell, what is he? Ah! Oh! That is terrifying! I actually hate that! God, his mouth was like so wide and gross. Ooh, yo, I'm watching a stream on my TV and PC. Man, you must really love the stream, huh? You don't get to die yet. Get up. Did we get the battery where we needed it to go? I don't know why we dropped it. I didn't click or anything. It just kind of happened. How dead are we? Are we like super dead? The hell? Use the blue power cell in the gas production zone. Uh, where am I? What is this? Oh, seriously? No shot, we're all the way back here. Come on, man. You've got to be joking. This is so far back. This is so far back. Oh, I hate to say it, but I'm... Ugh, you can do it. Yeah, I know I can do it, but I'm kind of taking back what I said about this game being so goddamn good and polished. Because this is revolting. If we actually have to plug this in to get... Okay, we don't have to do that. We do have to get the battery, which is massively inconvenient. You should never have to do this over and over again. It should just spawn you in the location that you were in if you died. Like, this is supposed to be... I imagine this is really close to the climax of the game, honestly. Yep, oh, that's a bug. Can't go over that bush right there. You have to go all the way around. Also, can't see anything. So that's also something that we have to kind of like deal with. How do we get over here? We walk. Gotcha. Okay, we got to get this battery back to where it belongs. Oh, what a penis. What an absolute penis. Why? Ah. Ugh. Like I'm a patient guy, but how long does it take? It takes about four minutes blind to get back to where we were. So we probably have to go this way next, right? That's kind of where all of these pipes are leading up to. We probably have to hit this button right here. All right, we'll do that. Here he comes. Run. How about no? That is no sound. I love no. Boop. And I'm going. Okay, we're going in. Boop. Bye bye. Oh, he is so scary. Oh. I don't like this! 
SM I am? I do not like catnap. Catch these hands. All right, he's gonna pop out, right? In this kind of like Silent Hill-esque area. Okay, I think it's saved right there. The only thing I hear is the stream. Really? Let me try and fix that. Maybe that's what I kind of changed. Okay, this should be good, right? We should be able to hear it now. Yep, should be transmitting. Can we can we hear it now? Am I coming through? Watch your stream on three devices. That's excessive, my dude. That's so excessive. I hope they're all synced up and stuff. Oh, I'm so paranoid now about all these recording settings. I don't know if I, like, hit something that just kind of screwed all of the settings while I got that jump scare. That really rough jump scare. Yeah, voice mod should be transmitting. Should be fine. You should be able to hear me. Yeah? Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, let's go through this really creepy area. Oh, we're going to get ganked, right? We're going to get ganked as soon as we leave. Survive? Sure. I would love to. There is a VHS player over here. Probably going to need to find a tape of some sort. It's got to be down here, right? There's got to be a tape over here. I hope this is coming through. There's no time to waste. Catnap is on his way. The really? The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's not what it used to be. But it can protect you. Learn how it works. Try putting the batteries in the different glowing spots. Okay, I can do that. All right, that uh, requires a power conduit. That is a battery. Uh, there is a hand over here. We are probably going to need both hands on this bad boy. Nope, it's not doing anything, unfortunately. No, it's not doing anything. So I can't do anything with that either. That's a power conduit. Damn, okay. I got jump scared a bunch. Looks like there's something through there, but we're going to have to maybe jump that with the jump pad. I'm going to look for this kind of like um, this tape. This tape that's lying around the place. It should be somewhere around the place. Right? Should be around? I don't know what's going to be in here, but I think we can run away from Catnap pretty effectively. Gotta be said. He's not the fastest enemy we've encountered so far. He's not the fastest. But we should be absolutely A-OK -okay for now. For now. Is it over here, maybe? Nope. Not over there. The videotape is what I'm after, if it's not immediately obvious. Wow, I'm really struggling to find this thing. Is it even around here? Oh, come off it! All right, it was there the whole time. All right, let's put this in. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what nightmare fuel we've got to deal with Log now. code 24459. In relation... Experiment 1006, the prototype. Stubborn as he is, and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... Hmm. End of log. Hmm. Ready to talk now, are you? I... Possess. A question. It's like a mimic. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us. Beat us. Tear our flesh. Do you feel it? There is a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Or oh, don't. Fight. Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> it excites me. Thank you. You. Thank me. Absolutely. I learned something new about you every day. It is 
like a mimic. Ooh. That is really cool. I love that. Well, that sound is creepy. It is. It's a very, very disturbing concept, isn't it? I feel like there might be multiple souls in there. Okay, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to jam it in here. And then I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to jam it in here. Nope, that's a battery as well. Let's jam it in here. Good. One is powered. Let's open this. Okie dokie. I will do exactly that. Thank you very much for the information, Poppy. Let's go ahead and use the hand. I think we use the hand to get over here. Free cash money. Very cash money indeed. I feel like we're supposed to grab a handful of electricity from these things. Or maybe we're just supposed to power them. Let's figure that out later. There's another hole right here. Okay, good. So that's two kind of like steam vents taken up. There's also a hole right here. Where was that other battery? There it is. Grab this bad boy and we'll jam it in. This one right here. Good. Mm, or not. Uh, okay. You want to maybe... Oh, I see. Up here maybe? Come off it! It's so clearly supposed to be where it goes. There will be green power receivers in those little rooms. They can block off the hallways before Catnap gets to them. Try them. I have kind of tried them, haven't I? We've also got a third battery. I don't know what that's for, but we have it. There's no, like, hole in here, is it? No, there is not. Gotcha. Uh, there's another what's a dingle up there. Let's go ahead and open this again so that we could grab some power. No, we can't grab any power from these. What about this? Can we grab some power from that? No. Can we grab some power from this? Yes! Boop! Boop! No. Okay. Nothing, it seems. Go ahead and power this one then. Oh, I see! Oh, I see! This is Five Nights at Freddy's! Oh, but I need the hand for the... No, where? Aggressively use the batteries to fill the surrounding slots. Uh, that wasn't real. That's real. Okay, so we need the green on this one here. Well, where do we jam it? I'm trying to power it! Uh, okay, so this one is over there, right? We have to kind of like... Oh, we gotta master the game! Okay, we have to master the game. Let's get some green hand units. Please, please, please! And we gotta burn him! There he is! Okay, we burned him a little bit. Just a smidge. Got a little bit here too. Boop. What if we just like, kind of panic fire all of this? Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this! This is like Five Nights at Freddy's! Please insert a new battery? Oh, no. Uh, this one, here. I'll take this one. We'll jam it into this. Sot right there. Okay, good. And now we need the purple hand to jump up here. Hopefully. Or not. Boom! Okay, good. And let's get the hand back out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, closing that! Closing that back up! Hello there, catnap! Uh, give it! And also, boop! Damn it! Okay, so we need to do a, a big jump right here. And now we need to get the green hand out. Oh! Oh, this is scary! Right there? Was that it? Did I do it? Oh, okay. I don't see where he is. Oh! Hello! Ah! Uh, Oh no! Oh, I can't! I can't do it! I can't do it! Steam! Oh! Okay. I can't. Give it back! I need this more than I need the steam. Oh, poos! 
Okay, inserting new battery. We actually need a new battery. Don't know where the... Oh, okay, there's one right here. We probably don't need that steam. I'll put it in there. Good. 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 Okay, we've got another catnap coming down this way. I don't think he's real. I don't think he's real. I don't think that one was real. Uh, we've got another one over here. I think. Okay, nothing in there. That one's not real, I don't think. That one is real. Okay, we need the purple hand. We need the purple hand. Oh, we need that powered as well. Let's go ahead and grab this and we'll jam it into there. Good. And we need... Oh, no! Oh, just imagine hearing Freddy singing right now. <laughs> I don't need to. I've got kidnaps disturbing screams. I feel like this is doable. This, this is doable. It's not actually that difficult. I feel like we just need to get real good at swapping the hands, right? Just need to be really, really good at swapping hands. Yeah, it's coming through. Okay, we'll jam that one into here so that we can guarantee nothing comes through there. Jam that one into there so we can get access to electricity. Gonna jam this one into here because it's fun to do so. And there's one more in this room right over here too. Yo! Good, and where do we want to shove this? There is another battery just over there as well, which is pretty good. So we will put both of these ones because we don't really need them over here, I think. Right! We don't necessarily need this either, but it is kind of good for it to just be on initially. I think we're fine. I think we should be fine, right? Okay, how did we kick this off in the first place? Was there a technique to it? I think there may have been. So down from the flare gun is going to be the purple hand. There we go. And we got to jump up on here. Right, now we get any, literally anything. Actually, we could probably just keep the purple hand out until we kind of... No, we definitely need the green hand to get these. To get a handful of electricity, and then we turn that on. Excellent. If you see catnap, use those. I will! You're probably going to hallucinate a bit. It'll be hard to tell what's real and what's fake. I'll be able to tell, don't worry. Try using your flares on catnap to make sure he's real. I will do exactly that, my dude. I will find it. Do you see that computer terminal? Obviously. Progressively use the batteries to fill the surrounding slot. Okay, I've done it. Where is he? Where is the catnap? I think that's the real one. That's probably not the real one. Oh my god, we got all kind of like aiming at advance as well. I think that it is the, actually the real one. Never mind, I figured it out. So we need the purple hand to get up here first. And we need to sprint over onto this. We need the green hand next, not the flare gun. So we can grab a handful of power and whack it right there so that catnap gets a little bit steamed up. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, so let's get our flare gun back out. Excellent. That is catnap. There's another one here. That's a, not a real one. Okay, let's get another battery up into this PC. Boop. So he should be somewhere, right? That is probably him, realistically. Yep. I don't think he's picked a path just yet. Good, and that's not opening yet. There he is. Oh, hello there, Catnap. Yep, that one's not real. Catnap is definitely above us here. And we'll close that bad boy back up right there. Very good. Okay, we've got full flares. He's not picked a path just yet to go down. So, this is actually very forgiving. That one's not the real one. That one could be the real one. That one is not the real one. There's another one here. He's not picking this path. He might be going down here, Pop, perhaps. All right, we need another battery. Good, that's not real. Let's go ahead and grab the steam right here, and we'll jam it into the computer terminal right there. Good. Uh, where are you, buddy? Is he coming down here? Nope, that's the fake one. Oh my god! I saw that way too late. I saw that way too late. Your rest is over! Okay, I've got another bit of a pet peeve with this, and that's that it keeps forcing us to go through the tutorial of this area. Every single time we come through here. Like, once is probably enough. It's not that complicated. Twice, kind of taking the piss at that point. Alright, let's go ahead and block these up. Grab this one here. 
Jam this one in here. Good. Open this bad boy back up as well. Grab this battery. Put it over here, I suppose. And this one can go right in here. Good. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that right now. Don't worry. Let's get our green out. Grab a handful of this and we'll open this. And we'll shove it right there. Excellent. Thank you for the force tutorial. Thank you very much. I probably appreciate... I'll, I'll appreciate it later. I love force tutorials. Okay, we've got a catnap coming in this way. And there's also a catnap over there. Probably going to be coming in through... Probably this way, honestly. Alright, I see him off in the distance. Yep, that's the wrong one. That's a fake catnap. There's another one coming through here. That's a fake catnap. Excellent. Gonna be waiting. Oh, we gotta hold out for a certain amount of time. That's also a fake one. And there's one over here. Also a fake one. Good. We're almost probably at the point where we can get a new battery into the computer. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Let's go. We can jam this bad boy in. And no one coming in there. That's a fake one. Excellent. None of them have been real so far, which is really nice. So this one is now the new lane that he can come through. That one's a fake one. Excellent. Good. Nothing up top. Nothing in there. All right. Hello there, catnap. Okay, I actually tried to grab it. It wouldn't let me. Bye-bye. That's probably the real one. Let's be honest. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. That was probably the real catnap. Yep, that's a fake catnap. Good. Uh, we're almost at the point where we need another battery. I'm thinking of opening up that lane there. Because we're already looking in that direction anyway. Excellent. Let's grab it. Grab the battery, you oaf. There we go. Good. So now we have to check three lanes. That's a fake catnap. That is not a fake catnap. Okay, let's jump over here. we got to get our green hand out. i got to start getting into the habit of scrolling downwards, I think. And we're going to steam them off right there. Excellent. Great. Let's get our flares back out. Hello. Fake catnap. Good. Nothing up top. Fake catnap. Good. Hello. That's a real catnap. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a handful of power. We will open up this lane and then we'll shock him with the steam. Excellent. And I think this is a fake one. Good. Fake one. Good. That too is a fake one. All right, we got one up top here. So we're going to grab this and we're going to close it. And then we're going to grab the battery from this lane and we're going to shove it right into this lane here. Good. Why am I leaning sideways? That is so unnecessary. All right, nothing through there. Good. Good, 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 good. That is the real catnap. Okay, uh, let's take this battery and we'll shove it right there. Hello? I think that you're fake. Oh, poos. Damn, he is active. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll grab this and then we'll stick it down. And we're probably going to need to guard a lane realistically. So let's shove that in there and then we'll hope for the best. Hello, catnap. That is the real catnap. Let's go ahead and grab that and we'll stick it in here. Boop. And he's gone. He might pop up there. We've got four seconds left until we've basically kind of outclutched him. I don't think that's the real one. Good. Uh, whoa, okay. What is that? Flare? Okay, flare. Flare, good. I don't know what this is supposed to be doing. Like, honestly, I, I don't know. Oh, poos. Hello, catnap. Let's grab that and we'll jam it downwards again. So, what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, let's clear, grab our flare gun out because I don't quite understand what we are supposed to be doing. Do we open this lane? Are we supposed to be leaving? Is that it? I don't think so, right? I don't think we're supposed to be leaving. All right, let's get that from there. It's fine. Uh, I don't know what this does. I don't know what this is supposed to be doing. What are we supposed to be doing with that? Is that information that's going to be useful to us? It's really hard to tell. That's the real catnap, so we're going to need to grab this and let's jam it in there. We'll grab some electricity into this hand. We'll open that up and we'll jam it right there to steam him off. Uh, okay, I am a little bit lost. I'm a little bit lost. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. That's the wrong catnap. 
That is the right catnap, so let's go. Oh, hello there, buddy, old pal. Let's go ahead and jam this into the wall right there. Okay, not entirely sure what we are supposed to be doing here. Uh, do we flare this? Okay, catnap's up top, which actually gives us a little bit of time. Excellent. So we'll go ahead and close this. Still not really seeing what we're supposed to be doing. Are we supposed to be removing these batteries? No, we are not. That is the wrong catnap. Excellent. There is no catnap. Other one. What the hell are we supposed to be doing? I don't get it. What's going on? Are we supposed to like use the hand to kind of like go over? All right, there's nothing in there. Do we use this? No, we don't. We grab this, we drop it down. Have you heard of Among Us? Yeah, 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 I've heard of Among Us. That's definitely one of those famous games that everybody's heard of, believe me. Okay, uh, still not really seeing anything useful, necessarily, that we could use to our advantage. Unless it's in here. I'm just gonna really quickly make sure there's nothing in here. There is nothing in here. Good. Uh, let's actually make sure he's up top before we kind of, like, commit to the bit. Okay, that is the real catnap. We need to grab this and we need to stick it in here. We need to get a nice green handful of electricity. We will open this and then we uh, steam him away. Go oh, come off it! What the hell do we do when the computer is finished? I sat there floundering that entire time. The game gave me, the game over, forces you to overlearn the tutorial and then doesn't tell you what to do with the rest of it. The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's not what it used to be, but it can't protect you. Learn how it works. Try putting the batteries in the different glowing spots. Okay, let's see what this other little panel in here does, because I feel like that might be really important. Let's go ahead and get our green hand out. We'll open up this uh, gate right here. I'm going to grab a handful of this. What is this? That's steam. Okay, it's actually quicker to uh, get the battery and stick it in that slot right there, but... I mean, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Let's open this up again. Uh, I'm actually going to look it up. I'm going to look it up really, really quickly just to make sure that we know exactly what to do when we actually get the blue thing. Because I used every single hand on that and it did nothing. Okay. Uh, copy. Playtime. Hit that. Boss? I think this is a boss fight, right? It's very FNAF. Oh, apparently it's so difficult a lot of people gave up. Damn, this Reddit threat's populated. Use the red hand when his illusion's coming. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Apparently there's a cheese. Why would you cheese this? I don't understand why you'd actually bother cheese this. Hitting that boss, blue. Electric. Try to specify a little bit. Uh, yep, okay. Close the vent almost fully, let go, grab on, repeat that for the rest of the boss. That's unhelpful. People... <sighs> Man, people are not playing this game whatsoever. How is this game so famous? No one's played it. Literally nobody has played this game. That's ridiculous. Okay. When the boss fight is done, the electrical outlet above the terminal will light up, which the player must use their green hand on. I've done that! I did that! I tried that a couple of times. It did nothing. All right, fine. I'll do it again. Good God! Let's close up this lane right here. I don't care. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. You can block off the hallways before Catman gets to you. Unnecessary. No, I, I just want to... Have I not already done that? Oh, no, I got to actually do the tutorial, right? Okay, green hand. And I suppose I'll just jam it into this one. 
chests. We don't need to do any jumping or anything fancy. Wow, that's unlucky. The time literally ended for that hand as soon as it touched the outlet. Yeah, I figured it out. That's fine. Try using your flares on Catman to make sure he's real. Alright, let's start this bad boy. Good! You just need to put your mind in the game? No, no, I, I needed to do a mechanic, which I thought I already tried, but I must not have. Okay, as soon as they start coming down the lanes, then we can start verifying whether or not they're the real one or the fake one. I think that opens up after we've already completed the first battery. Alright, there he is. Nope, that's a fake catnap. What about this one? That's real. You can kind of actually tell. You can kind of actually tell the real one from the fake one. All right, let's uh, get our green hand out. We will do a nice little steam bath the cat nap right over that way. Let's get our flare hand out. He's a lot more full. He's a lot more full bodied, it turns out. Like, this is a fake one. I can actually tell that pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, let's go again, jam the second battery in there. Done. What's going on down here? Nothing. He's up top. Excellent. Which means that the ones coming down the lanes are fake catnaps. Hello, buddy. That is actually genuinely terrifying, by the way. So that's a fake one. Let's get him out of the way. I think that's the real one. Nope. Hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Is he coming down this way? Ah, uh, he's fake. We already know he's fake. This one's fake. It's probably going to... Oh, poos! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I misjudged him! Bye-bye! Right, good. We're gonna have to open up another lane real soon. Good grief, that is actually terrifying. I'm also gonna take a screenshot of that real quick before I uh, close them up. All right, let's grab this lane here because we know this lane well enough. Good, and we'll get a flare gun back out. That's probably not the real one. Good, realistically, why is the room tilting? It's so strange, I don't understand that. Uh, that's probably, th nope, that's real. That's definitely real. Uh, let's grab this battery out, because we don't need it, and we'll jam it in there. Give him a nice little tasteful steam bath. And then we'll put it straight back in where we got it. Excellent. Boop. Okay, uh, this one, don't know if he's real or not. Kind of hard to tell. No, he is not, because he's up here. We know he's not real, because he's up there. All right, we're going to need another battery pretty soon. I think we open up the this lane here. It's kind of like... Just, just do what we need to, to get done, I think. All right, good. Uh, let's open up this lane right here. We'll jam that bad boy in, right that socket there. And here, maybe, that's the real one. Let's go ahead and get our big purple hand out so we can jump onto this platform. Get our green hand next, and we will grab a handful of electricity so that he can have a handful of steam in his face. Not real, not real. I know your game, Catnap, I've got your number. Okay. That one's not real. That one is real. That's unlucky. We have to kind of jump this platform again, it seems. And let's grab a handful of electricity out. Good. And steam bath. Boom. Excellent. Uh, eight seconds left. Let's go ahead and we probably have to do one more kind of like lane carry. Unless he's up top, we're going to have to be pretty diligent. Oh, we're good. We're good now. Okay, I did it! Oh, he's spooky! He's spooky! Burn this place to the ground. Get up! We... did it? That wasn't a satisfying resolution to that fight, gotta be said. Oh, come on! Are you taking the piss? The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's this boss fight is so broken. Why are we doing this again? It doesn't make any sense. I've very clearly beaten it. Now, in between the hallways, there's those two side rooms on both the left That really hurts. That sucks so bad. I hate this. This, this is a terrible boss fight. Like, the mechanics are fun and all, but good God. I can't enjoy them if the game is honestly this broken. Good. If you see catnap, use those. You're probably gonna hallucinate a bit. It'll I hate that so much. That was so stupid. Try 
All right, let's do this again for the third time. None of the mechanics have been explained to us, by the way, except for the batteries, which we already know. We know this mechanic. We've been playing it for the whole chapter. Explain to me what's new. All right, that's the real catnap. I'll go ahead and get rid of him then. That took all of the tension out of the game, by the way. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll just grab another one of these. I'm not even going to really try too hard in this one, I don't think. We're going to get it too. We, this is going to be the run that we that we win in. But that's not the real catnap. I'll get rid of him so we know that the lane is clear. Okay. Where are you coming from, buddy old pal? In there? That's fine. Okay. Let's go here, grab this, and we'll jam it into that socket right there. They give you a huge amount of time, by the way, to kind of react to catnap. So now we're going to have to start pulling from lanes. That's the fake catnap. He's probably going to come from above. Oh, here we go. Right on cue, buddy old pal. Uh, good. We'll pull this all the way down, obviously, and then we'll clear the lanes so that we know that catnap... What the hell is that sound? Stop! What the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, that's the real catnap. That's a first. Let's uh, go ahead, grab a handful, and we will use this little podium right there. Very good. We're going to have to pull from a lane very, very shortly. I am going to shut him out. Bye-bye! No! Okay, that was very close. We almost just lost the game right there. We'll open up this lane because that's what we're used to. We'll jam that in there. Make sure that all these lanes are clear, like that one is clear. I don't think there's anyone coming down that one just yet. Good. Excellent. There's another one coming down here. That is the real catnap. Let's take from this lane and just jam this in here. Excellent. There's another catnap over here. He is fake. That one's fake. Good. Uh, he's coming in from above. That's if, oh, I see what was making all those noises. The hatch. The hatch was glitching out real hard. Okay, wonderful. Uh, there's a catnap coming down this lane, I think. Yep, there he is. He's fake, though. And there's one there, and there's one here. That is the real catnap. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a jumpy wumpy to get over here. And we will grab our green hand out, like so. And we will kind of give him a little bit of a steam bath, I think, is probably going to be the best way. Let's take from this lane, because it's easy to do so. We'll jam that in there. I think we'll wait until he's in the roof before we start firing into that uh, little node right there. As soon as everything's finished, we're, we're just going to do that. Because honestly, it doesn't make too much of a difference. When we're kind of, like, getting rid of him, that's a real catnap. Let's go ahead, grab a handful of this. We will... Grab this, we'll open it. And we'll put that right there. Excellent. All of the horror is gone, by the way. All of the horror and all of the kind of like the tension has been completely eliminated with that nasty little bug that we just encountered. Right, there's a fake one right there. We'll get rid of him. And we're only a few seconds away, which is pretty nice. I like that. I like that lots. And we are clear. Let's just do it. Oh, we're supposed to fire the hand at him. Gotcha. Thank you for the explanation, video game. Damn, if I'd known he was that flammable. Oh my god, that is a little too far. You're telling me! Ah! Ah! Like, okay, so I've got a couple of things I want to say about that. Unfortunately, I think that that boss fight was completely invalidated by improperly implemented mechanics. It was fun. It was a fun boss fight, and it had a lot of tension right at the start, but unfortunately, 
I feel like the lack of explanation right at the end of the chapter here cost it literally everything good about it, and it became a chore. It became something that I didn't necessarily want to do. And I think that's just going to be it, right? We're going to get a little bit more exposition now, and then we'll be good. I don't think we're going to fight the prototype in this chapter. He's been recurring. He's been recurring a bunch. Okay. So we are now back in the chemical manufacturing place. What? Why is the battery not in the socket? I exclusively went out of my way to put that in there. No, I don't. That, you're one big step closer to the prototype. One step closer to winning. You've made your choice. You're staying to help Poppy. Well, finish the job. This win is yours. Yeah, it doesn't feel good though. It feels somber. Okay, we plug that in. Is there like a button over here we have to press? There was a button that I pressed, but it did nothing. So, this should be... Is that up now? No? We have to power literally everything? Is that it? Is that what you want from me? No, can't go in there. Oh, it's restarting. Okay. I was just a little bit impatient. Gotcha! P! Okay, I don't know why we're like transferring the gas from cylinder to cylinder. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Unless we're like manufacturing it. Regroup with Poppy in the hatch room. In the hatch room? In the hatch room? Wait, is that this one over here that never really got explained? Whoa! Oh, good, you're here. Oh, where are you? And you've done it again. Thanks! Impossible. Just like I knew you would. Where are you? Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place. Puppy? But if we're to keep going, then, then you deserve to have the truth. Where are you? You came back because of your co-workers. Oh! You want to know what happened and why? This. This is your answer. Oh! You called it Tower of Joy. We are that engineer. We are the grumpy engineer. We've got to be right. Okay, let's get real close to the screen with this one. We'll get square eyes for sure. The air FG. Let's there were the humans all over the place, and then the puppy became a living. Since the puppy became the living, the place has not been as nice as it once was. But previously, they were just merriment and playtime and torture children. And now, the murderers are getting murdered. And thus, the hour began. Poppy reminds me of Circus Baby from FNAF Sister Location. Kind of reminds me of him too, you know. Now that you point it out, Oh, there's Jack in the box. Whatever the hell his name is. There's Catnap, patrolling around our old stomping grounds. And thus the bodies were littered around the place. When they win, they were taken and their souls were stuffed into the dolls. Yeah? Where are you? It went on so long. Where'd you go? Puppy? Agonizingly long. Oh, hey. I tried to hide. To run. Anything to stay alive. Yeah, I heard the narrator on the video. Their cries. What were they saying? What's going on? Yeah? Anything more? Why is this happening? And there's probably another question, right? Rule of threes? What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter. That's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent. It didn't matter. All of that death didn't fix anything. But it felt good, though. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd uh -huh. never be found. Ah! And they... 
ate the bodies to stay alive. Did you do that too? Prototype has to oh my god! For this. For everything. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? So, uh... Come here often? Oh, I love that. I love how it doesn't attach to the character model. It just floats in place. Okay, I'm coming, Poppy. Don't worry. I'll just, I'll just pop on in. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? I can't jump that fence. Okay, I'll get in. I'll get into. I'll get into. I'll get into the, I'll get into this thing. Dang, that's depressing. It is, isn't it? That is super depressing. The ground. We need to be cautious. There's something. What the hell is that? Oh! No! We're coming! Just hold on! No! Not Kissy! She wasn't that bad! good that was really really good i actually really really like that there's a couple of bugs <laughs> there's a couple of bugs i feel like um there needs to be a prompt when the cat is actually confronting you when you're about to shock him and light him on on fire there needs to be a prompt that was badly explained like to a to a crime kind of badly explained um other than that honestly pretty good Everything was fair enough. I kind of like in the moment there were a couple of things that were a little bit frustrating, but ultimately in the the moment had passed, the moment of kind of idiocy, I would say, of myself had passed and the lack of explanations that I got from the game, they came and I kind of, I, I worked around them. I worked around everything that the game refused to tell me, which I feel is half the charm of this game, which is why I am so surprised that people are playing this game. People are, yeah, this is a hard game. Like, make no mistake, this game is difficult. The puzzles, probably the easiest part of the game. The exploration element is very, very difficult. There is so much clutter around the place that is very, very difficult for you to not only find your way around, but also kind of, yeah, you know, figure out what needs to be done, the chain of events that requires you to actually proceed. I would say without the exploration, there's probably an hour and a half of content to have gotten out of this chapter, which is about the same as chapter two, I'd say. Have I played Hello Neighbor? I have not. Um, I probably won't be playing Hello Neighbor either because it's really frustrating and it's buggy. And I know there's a huge deep lore hole with it, but the developers are kind of desperate for anyone to kind of do game analysis on it. A lot of the same names. A lot of the same names in these credits right here. But yeah, the horror was done well. The character models, mwah, beautiful. Loved them. Very, very good. That's it. That's it. Uh, uh, basically, I think that from a lore standpoint, the cat nap time, cat catnap, I think catnap was actually supposed to be kind of like a drug conduit. Basically to drug kids and put them to sleep on some kind of scopelamine blend I feel, honestly, after finishing that, I've got a sneaky suspicion, and I'm pulling this out of my ass, that we are that engineer, that really salty engineer, who was kind of like demoted a bunch of times and then had a redemption arc. I feel like that may end up being us. I feel like we kind of like understand exactly what the company is doing, and then we left. I'm no longer leaning into the fact that we are Ludwig. I, I don't think that we are Ludwig anymore. I think that we are that engineer. What is his name? Richie. I think we are Richie. We already have an affinity with the tools. We already seem to know how everything's working. The only thing that we don't really understand is whether or not we have been stuffed into a, a toy already or if we are still a human. I don't think we'll know. I don't think we'll know for a long time. When I heard that Chapter 3 came out, I really didn't pay any attention to it. Yeah, I heard Chapter 3 came out and I didn't realise that it was actually attached to such a good game. I did 
see all of the controversy that surrounded the game studio when it came out, like where they released merchandise from Chapter One, which is fair enough. They're a game company. They want to make money. It, it costs money to make games, so they're, they're going to want money to, you know, keep on making those games. And to be fair, the second chapter was free. It was free. So was the first chapter. From memory, I think that they were tr they were free. I don't remember paying for them. And there was, of course, all of those allegations that everybody uh, in the company was getting bullied by, like, the CEO of the, the developer of this company, which is just not true. That was one anecdote from a single company that was outsourced to do a couple of character models. And there was only one instance of bullying that was re bullying that was recorded in that as well. The game seems pretty fun. I might get it. It is. It's really good. Honestly, it's, it's probably... It's very similar to Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I don't want to say that too much, but it, it seems to have taken a lot of inspiration from kind of like, here's a mini game. It's overcomplicated, and if you screw it up, you're going to crap your pants. I, I think that was you know, kind of like the, the thing that people are stealing from Five Nights at Freddy's these days, is that kind of feeling is, hey, um, here's a convoluted mechanic, uh, crap your pants <laughs> until you get it right. Because once you get it right, the horror is basically gone. And I feel like as soon as you're competent enough with the mechanics to finish a mission, you should just move on from it, which is exactly what Poppy Playtime allows you to do. Five Nights at Freddy's, not so much. Five Nights at Freddy's just kind of stacks up difficulty on top of itself so that when you get really, really good at the mechanics and the horror is gone, then the game becomes basically trivial. Oh, dedication to the players. For those who waited patiently, thank you for continuing to stand by us and for all that you do and say to support this franchise we care for so much. We see your videos, your speculations, your conversations, and the love that you give us. That's nice. That's nice. If horror teaches us anything, it's to look forward, not back. That is a good thing to learn. That's a really good takeaway. The reason I didn't really like Poppy Playtime was because I saw a lot of memes and it made me think it was bad. Yeah, I was in the same, I was in the same boat. I thought that Poppy Playtime was a sucky kind of crap cash grab and then I played it and I realized wow the amount of quality inside of this this game from an indie studio is immense I feel like a lot of games are based off FNAF yeah a lot of games are kind of like based off of FNAF these days but that's probably because FNAF was just so commercially successful from an from an indie development standpoint that now indie developers are looking at that and being all like Yo, this is kind of like a handbook on how to make money without having a full game studio or working on, you know, a, a, a big team of people. So, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's really did kind of revolutionize indie gaming to a point. Much better than Slender, the eight pages revolutionized gaming. Gotta be said. So, I'm done with this. I am going to record an outro. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. And then I'm going to play some Monster Hunter. How does that sound? So... To everybody watching this VOD, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Poppy Playtime. Right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And just down here, my leg has fallen asleep because I am sitting on it, but there is also a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally at your leisure. And until I make the next video or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye!